this video is not for the little flop. <clears throat> so I want to make a distinction about who I be talking to. Because I know a lot of times, you know, y'all discernment may not be 100% all the time. And y'all may think I'm cussing y'all out when all the time I'm cussing out the wicked. So I want to make sure that y'all understand this isn't any teaching or any type of uh, preaching for the little flock. This video is for the wicked. So then it should be very clear that no one of the righteous should feel offended or hurt or in their feelings because this ain't got nothing to do with you. This ain't for you. This is for all of you who right now are attacking the elect of God because you're trying to find a chink in their armor. Abiyah says that that type of behavior comes from your father. And your father is what's known as the accuser of the brothers. And you are following in like fashion to your father. All of you accusers of the brothers, I want to ask you a question. How the fuck are you paying attention to what you're doing on a daily basis when you're spending all of your time scrutinizing the righteous and the elect of God to see if they truly are? It seems like you're doing the bidding of your father while you're saying that you serve my father. That I know that's bullshit because you would do it like I do if you serve the same father I had. But you don't show love. You just show a disguise of love. I'm trying to help you, brother. I'm trying to help you see the truth. No, you're, you're a snickering, childish, devilish, little fucking disgusting bastard. That's who the fuck you are. I'm here to tell you to your face what you are. All of y'all that don't do nothing but scour around looking for somebody who says they love God to see if they really do. You're just doing the bidding of your father. Just like when your father went to Job to try to disrupt Job's life and even murdered and killed to do so and afflicted to do so. And he still didn't get what he was looking for. Just like you're not going to get what the fuck you looking for. All y'all want to do is go around trying to find someone else to say ain't right. How the hell does that benefit you? How is that benefiting you? Because if you ain't coming in the name of my father to give this direction or this correction, then whose name are you coming in? All of y'all that want to attack and your attacks are so pathetic they're so weak. They're so fruitless because they're coming from a source of emptiness, a fucking terror. That's all the fuck you are. And Abba Yah is done allowing you to have any semblance of happiness, any semblance of joy, any semblance of peace, any semblance of life at all. Y'all will seek for death and won't fucking find it. And the reason why is because all you fuck you did your whole life was torment people your whole life. You didn't do anything but seek to steal, kill, and destroy just like your father did. That's all the hell y'all do. Y'all are so fucking disgusting and nasty and then you wonder why God's going to burn you all to a cinder. You're going to be looking real crispy like a bucket of KFC on that day and ain't nobody going to eat your ass. And ain't nobody going to eat you. You're just going to be standing up there smoking, looking fucked up. And why? Because you chose lust. Because you chose defilement. You chose to stalk and to look for a chink in somebody else's armor. Or as Yahushua said, you look for a speck in your brother's eye. Y'all looking for a speck in the eye. You can't see the whole beam that's in your shit right now. How pathetic is that shit? How the fuck sad is that shit? You got a big ass beam in your shit, but yet you want to try to find a speck in another niggas. And I dare all of you wicked devils to tell me you ain't got a beam because you know the fuck you do. You got some wicked shit in your life you can't let go of, yet you're scrutinizing somebody else. Sounds like a fucking hypocrite to me. It sounds like a hypocrite to me, just like the same ones Yahushua was talking about. Y'all are the type to want to just point out somebody else's error and think because... I know the Bible. I know these words. Well, so does Satan. 
So you're proving that you're his child. You ain't, so you're not impressing anybody. Knowing the scriptures don't mean a fucking thing unless you got the Ruach HaKodesh. And if you don't have that, which y'all don't have that, or you'd be over here on this side, not trying to find a chink in somebody else's armor that's already on your side. That shit is stupid. You got to fight against your enemies, not fight against people that you say is the same as you. Why you claiming that's what I'm doing on my side because I'm telling the wicked they wicked. But then you try to tell me I'm wicked. I ain't wicked. I'm telling the wicked they wicked. I'm not telling the little flock they wicked. I'm telling your ass that you wicked. Because you is. Now when I start lying, then you can probably say something to me. But until that happens, you can't say shit. And I ain't gonna lie. That's how we know the difference between me and you. Because y'all motherfuckers lie over there on that side. And I don't know why y'all coming over here to my page saying nothing to me. Because that shit ain't going to do shit but condemn you, you stupid fucking idiots. All that shit that you throw at me is going to be reaped upon your head, dumbass nigga. Because you reap what you sow. So why you coming over here trying to talk to me and trying to uh, correct me and trying to this and trying to that? You're going to get the same thing in return, the same hatred, the same snooping, the same fucking stalking, the same fucking everything. You're going to get everything tenfold. Y'all niggas is wicked as hell. Y'all see somebody point out your wickedness and you just feel so convicted. All you can do is try to point out some shit, a speck on them. And the shit ain't going to work because it ain't shit to hit. It ain't shit to hit. They just throwing shit. Yeah, yeah, this scripture. Okay, I can fucking smash you right now, but I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to tell you what Abiyah says. And Abiyah says, what the fuck is the point of wasting time arguing with a, a nothing tear? It ain't no way. It ain't no time wasted with that nigga. You just tell that nigga he ain't shit. And that's what I'm here to tell you damn devils. Y'all ain't shit for the shit y'all do in this world. I know that the other people that listen to this, like I already warned y'all in the beginning, if you sensitive, get the hell on out this room because you ain't gonna like nothing that's said. The daddy is mad in this room. Now, if you want to come in this room and just see somebody getting their ass beat, then come on in here and watch. Other than that, this is the room where the daddy is whooping the fucking badass kids ass is kicking their ass into the fucking basement where he's going to burn their ass up in fervent heat. Plain and simple. He collecting their stupid asses down in the basement. So don't you go down in there with them. Don't you let these fucking old ass friends come back in your life talking about some, hey brother, let's meet up. Let's hang out. And that ain't shit but a setup to get you killed. Don't you go. When they say, hey, man, I know I haven't talked to you in the last five or six years, man, but I sure would like to see you. I've been reading my Bible and I think that that God's really talking to me. Bullshit. And you and you and if you say that, then you'll see his mask slip right the fuck off his face. You be like, nigga, you don't give a fuck about God. Don't you lie to me. Oh, shit. Well, then fuck you, man. Yeah, that's the nigga out. I know that's in there. That bitch. You. That's the one we talking to. That nigga that like to hide behind that fucking smile. That nigga like that. Yeah, hey, hey, friendly neighborhood white man. Mr. Ro oh, what's the nigga name? Mr. Rogers, come in the house, take my cardigan off. I'm a good neighbor. Yeah, right, Jeffrey Dahmer. You're a good neighbor, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, right. Lusting after black men, so-called black men, and eating them because you want to be them. Because they're so beautiful and so amazing. That's what this fucking world is when they're gang stalking you. You're so beautiful and so amazing, elect. I just can't help but just lust after you. Fuck y'all. Get y'all dirty asses over to the side where you belong. Because you ain't coming on this fucking ark. I don't give a damn how much you bark. You ain't getting on this ark. I don't give a damn how much your stupid ass barks. Abba said, man, you being too kind to them hoes. You being too generous to them fucking dogs. You being too lenient on them bitches. Let their ass know it today with no guile in your mouth. How the hell I truly feel about this shit. So I'm letting you know how you feel. How else I'm supposed to let you know if I don't use the way I'm talking? If I don't talk the way I'm talking? Ain't my damn language. Mm. So take it up with Abba. I saw a man talking to his one-year-old daughter who's sleeping in a bassinet damn thing, a crib, whatever the hell you want to call it. She wakes up crying. He says, shut your whole ass up. 
Shut the fuck up. Every time she makes a peep, that is his response. Shut the fuck up. Shut your whole ass up. And y'all are wondering why God feels this way. And then when I talk to this man about the way he's talking, his excuse is, it's me or her, man. I feel like jumping off this fucking balcony. That's what he said. I feel like jumping off this fucking balcony. She pissed me the fuck off. I be serious. I be telling her, shut the fuck up. He's telling me this. I be telling her, shut the fuck up. And when I when uh, I look at her, she just be smiling, looking at me. That shit pisses me the fuck off. It's his own daughter. And you talk about pray. Pray for that brother. That ain't my brother. I would never tell my little princess she's a whore. I, unless she was one. And if she's one years old, then she can't be. Bitch. Fuck you talking to a child like that and think it's okay. To your own child. If you talk to your own daughter that way, then who can who can get garner any respect from a man that way of, that speaks that way? That's what I'm telling y'all about this fucking world. This shit is disgusting. You gotta hold your breath to even live around people around here. You gotta hold your breath so you don't even breathe the toxic fucking air that they breathe, and you'll get sick around these hoes. You can't even be around other people no more. You'll get sick in this bitch. You gotta stay in your art now. These niggas is sick as fuck out here and they dying and they want to die. Just like that man said, I want to kill myself. It's me or her. She's a one-year-old little girl. What do you mean it's you or her? Talk about ain't nobody going to pick your ass up neither. Shut your ass up. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Motherfucker talking to me. He drunk as hell. He talking to me talking about some. I can't stand all that fucking noise and shit. I can't stand it. Then he's advised to be patient with his daughter. And then his response is, I can't be patient. All right, then. So you say you got to die or she got to die. That's what the fuck you just said to me, bitch. That's what the fuck. That's the answer you going to give me. You all right with that shit? Y'all niggas is disgusting. Period. Period. And y'all ain't read y'all fucking Bibles that told you the comforter was going to come to comfort his people and he was going to destroy you niggas. Y'all must ain't the read that in your Bible, huh? The comforter going to reprove this world of sin. It's going to reprove this world of judgment. Because the prince of this world is judged. Yeah. Lucifer. Hasatan, the devil, whatever the fuck y'all want to call him, he's judged. He has found wanting. We put his stupid ass up there in the balances and his big ass go ahead, weighed that bitch down with sins. Because the vessels of mercy, sins was put on his head. Bitch. Bitch. Now you take that shit on. Since you said you wanted to be Yahusha, well, then the sins of the world got to fall on you. You said you was Yahusha, right, man of sin? Didn't you? Okay. So then, your ass get all the sins put on you, nigga. You said you the Messiah, man of sin. So then, all the sins of the world got to fall on you. Can you uh, wash them bitches clean with your blood? Or are you found wanting in the balances? Well, we already know. Many, many, teko, ufarsen. Your ass is found wanting in the balances, nigga. The end of your kingdom has come at last. Babylon the Great has fallen. It is done. Them niggas is begging the righteous for help. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Abba said he's going to remove his rock. He won't suffer his rock to be harmed. See, it ain't about you or me or whether I'm good and you're bad. It ain't about that. It's about where his spirit is. He going to take his spirit from this earth and then y'all going to fall into utter darkness and y'all are going to look and beg for the voice of one of the righteous to speak to you and you won't find it. And then you're going to go and say, why did I do that? Why did I reject the truth? Why did I fight against it? Yeah, after you have 
filled your cup full of murder and lust and sin, just like he said. Fill your fucking cups on up, devils. Don't hide anymore. Stop hiding. Stop trying to fake like you're good. You're not good. No man is good. So why are you trying to fake like you're good, especially your wicked ass? We know good and damn well you're not, so why are you trying to act like, you're, like you are? Why are you faking like you're something you're not? We're tired of that. All of you nations, every last one of you, what is your name? And then let's go to the Bible and see if it matches with what we read in there. And if it don't match, then your ass, your head gonna roll. Because that means you taking somebody else's identity, bitch. Identity theft is a crime. Identity theft is a crime. And Abba said, don't take my name in identity theft, bitch. Abba said, don't take my name in vain. Don't sign them papers in identity theft. Don't forge my name, bitch, on some shit that I didn't write. Don't put my name on that wicked shit you doing. Talking about I am a murderer. I am a thief. I am slick. I am clever. I am deceitful. I am. Don't take my father's name in vain, bitch. Take your father's name when you take up that fucking wickedness and tell the truth about who you is today. Y'all so stupid. The most high dwells in temples not made with hands. And all of you Christians are looking over there for your signs of people that are making a temple with their hands. Y'all are looking for them for your clock. Yeah, 1948, they went back into Israel. Who went back into Israel? Because the father said he would put the Israelites back in their land. And he said the third temple would be built by a man named the branch. And we know that the temple means body. So it means he built his body so that the spirit of God could come into him just like we know it over here in the truth. So y'all niggas looking real stupid if Abedin already did this. If, I, if the spirit is already in the cup, what can you do? Try to convince the cup that he's not filled with a spirit. That's what you're trying to do? Then you're stupid, man. You look dumb trying to tell Yahusha he ain't the son of God. When he do the works, you look stupid. Where are your works, cones? You who accuse the righteous today, where are your mighty works of faith? Where are your mighty works of power that we can all behold? Where are your pages with 700, 800 videos coming from the Most High every damn day with the Ruach HaKodesh blasting through you? Where is your proof in your works while you accuse me? I have works that are show every damn day about who I am. But what you got? A snicker? Some laughter? A joke? Something smart to say? You fucking dumbass devil. You're stupid. This world. You all have become whack stupid out here. You are pitiful. You are a pitiful people, this generation. You're pitiful. You have no backbone. You have no fortitude. You have no strength in you. And the people that run this world, all of their wise men are destroyed. Did you not see your beloved president that you all voted for? Did you not see his answer when he was asked about how his mental state was, his mental focus? Did you not see his answer? Did he look mentally focused with his answer? Or was he stumbling and fucking bumbling like he do when he see little ass kids come in and go to the swimming pool with their little bathing suits on? He get to stumbling and bumbling in too when they rub his legs and the blonde hair stands back up on his legs. So he knows about roaches and he knows about kids sitting on his lap and, I, and he loves kids sitting on his lap. Lap. Fucking devils. Y'all don't hold anybody accountable. So who the fuck are y'all? Y'all must be the kids of the house. Y'all must be the kids of the house because y'all ain't hold nobody accountable in your fucking house. You ain't. But y'all want to hold the righteous accountable. So let me get this right. Y'all want to come to the grandson of right thought and tell him about his error, so-called errors, whatever that you think that they are, even though the Ruach is in me, which means ain't no error over here. You're telling God he's an error, you stupid fuck, when you do that. That's right. You speak in blasphemy of the spirit of God when you do that shit. But y'all all do it, thinking that you're getting some type of progress. Your ass... Do you realize that the arc door is closed and your ass is on the outside of it, doggy? Do you realize that today? Well, I'm going to help you realize it. The door is closed, stupid. 
Now pray to your God that you serve to save you. And let's see if he does. Let's see if he does. <clears throat> let's see. Y'all don't understand what the fuck is coming for y'all. It ain't going to be but one or two niggas left in the city. And y'all sitting up here just laughing going on with y'all life. How stupid can that be to do that? When you have heard that, God said he's only going to save one or two people out of each city of this nation. And y'all niggas are still going on with your life? You still going on eating and drinking and partying and marriage and giving in marriage? Not knowing that you will all be washed away just like they were in Noah's day in the flood? They was all taken with the flood. You going to be taken with the flood as well. Why don't you just be honest with yourself? Eat, drink, and be fucking merry, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Be merry, okay? Why don't you just fill y'all cups up? You going to do it any fucking way. It's already written, man. You just waiting for y'all. Y'all just waiting for y'all daddy, ain't y'all? You just waiting for your wicked ass daddy to get down here and deceive your stupid ass, ain't you? Yeah, there's Jesus! Okay, if he look like Caesar Borzea, you better fucking run for us, run for us, run! Run for us, run for us, run! You better run if you see Caesar Borzea coming down. See, because that's the God y'all serve in this world. That's Baal. And y'all don't even know that. <laughs> that's the goat. Look at his hair. He got hair like wool. No, 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 no. Look at look how the, le the le fucking devils do. That doesn't mean it's the texture of wool. Well, then how come Jacob when he wanted to fool his dad that he was Esau, he put goat skin on him. That's letting you know that the hair of a goat is straight and stringy, just like a certain people on this earth. Now, the people of God don't have street, straight, stringy hair, bitch. So your little fake ass image is a goddamn lie. If you love God, how come you ain't talking about that today? Mm-hmm. Stupid fucking bastards. How come you're not talking about that fake ass image that you can't read about in the Bible? It doesn't mean that his hair was the texture of wool. Okay. Well, let's just say. I'm going to play with you fucking niggas right now from this window I'm looking out of the ark from. I'm going to play with you fucking dumbasses real quick. So you say, it ain't the texture of wool. Okay, is it white? Is his hair white? We can all agree on that, right? So who the fuck is that image? You're so stupid. You're too stupid. Is that what the problem is? Y'all gotta be stupid. I accept it. Do you? Wisdom is only found in I, I am, the Father. Wisdom is only found in the great I am. So if your ass ain't connected to him, then you stupid. You stupid. You sottish. Dumbass niggas. That's why I call you dumbass niggas. Stupid and dumbass nigga mean the same fucking thing. That's why I talk to y'all the way I fucking do. And I don't care how you feel about it. I'll be y'all said say this. He said, don't give him no quarter. I've been saying that for years, and I'm telling y'all niggas right now, y'all done fucked up. Y'all done fucked up. Because I told you, he said, go offense. You have the license to go offense and kill these devils with the blade that I put in your mouth. So I ain't got to talk on this video when I, when I want to get something done. I ain't got to say a word physically when I want to get something done. Okay. That's the power we rocking with over here. We ain't got no spirit of fear. We don't know what the fuck y'all talking about when y'all still saying shit like, you're bad if you do this, and you'll be bad if you do this. I've already been given grace, and I am predestined for heaven. So whatever I do today is righteous. And if it ain't, then I'm going to make it righteous. Because if he didn't, then I wouldn't be.
where I'm predestined to be. So I'm predestined, bitch. Before I was formed in my mother's womb, Abba y'all had already called me forth and said, grandson of right thought, branch, come here for it real quick, man. Go down to earth and take care of that business I need you to take care of. It's a bunch of kids, man. They need a daddy down there. So Christ said, I will send you one. I told you, only the son know the father, only the father know the son. But y'all too stupid to know what that mean. That mean the father here talking to you niggas right now. And that's why he said, I'm cutting you bitches off. You're outside. Now you tell me something else about me while I'm inside the ark. Tell me something else you don't like about me. Go ahead, world. I don't give a fuck what you feel about me. I don't care. Our people have listened to you for far too fucking long. And now we're going to return to our father just like he said we would. Because this ain't our mighty work. We're going to get the glory for all this shit. Just like when he dash y'all niggas against stones. And he make you watch your babies get crushed. And make you watch your woman get her belly cut open. And the baby pulled out. And the baby skull crushed right in front of you. And they throw your bitch over the fucking bridge. And hang that bitch like they did my ancestor Mary Turner, nigga. The same thing going to happen to you and yours. So what else am I going to say to you? What else am I supposed to feel for you nothing i am empty for you for you are empty i treat something exactly like what it is if you were loved today i would treat you with love but guess what you are nothing you are less than nothing i don't know how i can treat something that's less than, no less than nothing any other way than nothing you ain't shit bitch ho ass niggas you fucking ass babies kids I would hate you fucking devils for what you've done. Ain't no getting into his ark. It ain't no coming into love. You ain't a loving person. You've never been a loving person. You were created wicked from the on start of this whole thing you've been doing. You were came here wicked. You were lying to your mother. You were lying to your dad. You were lying to yourself. You were lying to your teachers. You were lying to your friends. You were stealing. You were murdering people with your words. You were murdering people with your intention of your hearts and all kinds of shit you've been doing. Abiyah has seen every last one of your dark, devious deeds and He's going to pay you back in full. That's the words of Abiyah. Now, tell me the words your father said to me. What your father got to say about the grandson of right thought? What he got to say? Don't listen to him. Don't, don't, don't believe him. Okay, well, how about this? I'll tell all you wicked niggas right now. Y'all think I'm wicked. Go to the father right now and ask him who I am. And then he'll tell your dumb ass. And when he tell you, your ass gonna be looking stupid as hell with stars and birds going around your head, nigga, while I'm laughing at your stupid ass. Bitch, I'm gonna be laughing at your whole ass, nigga. I'm gonna be laughing at you while your ass is spinning around like a fucking top. I'm going to laugh. Y'all didn't understand that there were some people on the earth that ain't shit. I liken them to a drop of a bucket who do you like into a drop of a bucket out of all out of adam come we all all the nations of the earth come from adam also the people that you have chosen who are the people you have chosen israel and the other nations which also come of adam you have likened them to a drop from a bucket and they are nothing but be like unto you as spittle spit so how else i'm supposed to be talking to you I have to talk to you with some spit coming out my mouth. And it is coming out my mouth. And it's landing right on your fucking face every time I talk to you, ain't it? You know what it is. You know it. And if you was a real one, you'd admit it. You'd be like, yeah, man, ain't shit I can do with you, grandson. I can't tangle with you, man. Because you ain't tangling with the grandson. I've told you that millions of times. But y'all don't want to listen to me. Y'all keep stepping up here thinking y'all wise. Well, keep stepping up here and getting your shit lumped up, bitch. I'm in the bubble like Sonic. You can't touch me. I got the shit around my body like a force field, ho. You can't do shit. It's called Ruach HaGodash. It's pure. You can't put anything that defiles in there. Abba chose his temple. He came in it and you mad because he didn't choose your stupid ass. Well, he ain't going to choose nothing that defiles. He already said it. He already said it. So wherever his spirit is, is liberty. <clears throat> Not where the world is. So that Statue of Liberty going to be brought the fuck down. That ain't, that ain't shit but that bitch Ishtar anyway. We hate everything that y'all have fucking done in this land. Everything is going to be destroyed with fervent heat and burnt up down to the last element. Thus saith the Most High. So party and have fun and do whatever the hell you got to do.